Every second counts. From candidates to volunteers to election officials, today is a whirlwind day, and so you can make your voice heard. Nine on your side has team coverage of the final push before Election Day. It's especially important in Kentucky as most folks don't get the chance to make their voice heard until tomorrow. That's right, and in Ohio, long lines, no surprise at all, in the final day to vote early, but that's over now. Candidates still want to make a lasting impression on you tonight. And that includes in Ohio's first congressional district. Tom McKee is live right now, and health care is really the big topic in this race, Tom. Well, it certainly is. And of course, when Obamacare became law, it covered pre-existing conditions. Republicans, well, they tried to repeal it, replace it with a bill to their own liking. Democrats, though, they cried foul, saying it would wipe out those pre-existing condition coverages. GOP to this day still says that's not what happened. Dozens of Democrats rallied in Queensgate Monday before knocking on doors to get out their party's vote. The main message they heard was health care and the story of Colleen Bowman, whose daughter Ella developed cancer before Obamacare took effect. They couldn't discriminate against her for pre-existing conditions or medical caps or tell us that they wouldn't cover cancer. They had to because it was the law. Aftab Purval says his opponent wants to do away with that coverage. And time and time again, Steve Shabbat has had his chance to provide any leadership on health care, and instead he ignored Colleen and her daughter Ella. But Shabbat, on this week in Cincinnati, said that's not true. Both of those plans had pre-existing condition coverage. So yes, I did vote to get rid of Obamacare, but to replace it with the American Health Care Act, which also had pre-existing condition coverage, that's what they never tell you. Pureval was accused of violating state election laws and testified before the Ohio Elections Commission about them. In the end, he was fined $100 in one case, another was dismissed, and there was no decision on a third. For months, I've been saying that we followed the letter and the spirit of the law. And today, we are vindicated. Shabbat, on this week in Cincinnati, took issue with that and pointed out what he called Pureval's ethics. They actually uh, attempted and, and succeeded to infiltrate our campaign with a spy. That's in clear violation of uh, all kinds of laws, from f fraud to election laws. Now, what's very interesting today is I tried to get one-on-one -on -one or questions to both Shabbat and Pureval, but their campaigns said they were each too busy. If I wanted to get Shabbat, I had to go to Lebanon for that one-on-one. -on -one. Well, Pureval, he left that rally without taking any questions from any of the media, media assembled there. Tom McKean, not on your side, live in Price Hill.